All right. So, hello everyone. This is Dr. Vivek Goyal. I am a consultant nephrologist and transplant physician, and also the National Faculty of Nephrology at Doc Tutorials. So, hope you are all doing well. And today we have uh, gathered and met to discuss a very, very important and very, very important and hot topic burning to you uh, thing that is how to approach nephrology for your super specialty entrance exams. That is among your medical group, the nephrology orientation session. So I can already see the live participants have joined and more, more and more people will be joining as the time passes. So I hope, you know, let us start with the discussion now. And all of you have already, you know, all of you, those who have joined me can ask me questions in the live chat and I will try to answer as much as possible if it has not already been covered in my video. All right. So let us begin. So yes, let us make the goal very clear. Let us make the mission very clear. The goal and the mission of our discussion today and henceforth will be conquering the NEAT SS 2023 and the INI SS 2023. So it is to conquer these two exams and so as to enable oneself to pursue nephrology in the super specialty entrance exams. All right. So this is the brief structure or the framework of this session. I will be discussing the format of the exams first because you know very many aspirants who are doing their MD or the DNB are yet not aware of the framework itself. So if you know the format, only then can you approach or strategize the exam in a better way. So first and foremost, I will discuss the format of the NEAT SS, then the format of the INI SS, the different study materials, which you already, already have asked me in different messages, whether to include them or not. Finally, how to prepare. And of course, the elite test series, which is the most talked about thing right now in the preparation uh, circle as to how to go about it and help us to conquer the exam. Also, I shall take up, also I shall take up analysis of the recent NEAT SS and INI SS. Now I shall be analyzing it mainly pertaining to nephrology and how to go about the preparation of the NEAT SS and the INI SS pertaining to the medical group of nephrology. Okay. Now, first and foremost, let me make things very clear at the outset. The NEAT SS is basically a 150 question exam. So there are 150 questions. The time that has been given to you is two and a half hours. That is 150 minutes. So you basically have one minute per question. Now you get a plus four for a right answer and you get a minus one for a wrong answer. So you get a penalty of almost 25% if you mark something wrong. Coming to the INISS, do you know why am I discussing this at length? Because should I say this or not? I don't know. But recently in the last INISS, I got a lot of messages surprisingly just the night before the exam stating, sir, are, is there any negative marking in the exam? So I was surprised that the students are going to opt for the exam the very next day and they have not yet acquainted themselves with the basic pattern. That is why I am here to acquaint you with it. Coming to the INISS exam. So INISS exam is basically a two-staged exam. So this is the stage one, which is the theoretical exam where you have 80 questions. I shall tell you in details more, but just remember out of those 80, around 55 will be present of the respective specialty. For example, if I were to talk about nephrology, so out of those 80, 55 will belong to nephrology and 25 will belong 
टू जनरल मेडिसिन ना द टाइम अलॉटेड फॉर दीज एटी क्वेश्चन विल बी वन पॉइंट फाइव आवर्स और नाइनटी मिनट्स so you have slightly more than a minute to answer each question here the positive is plus 1 and the negative is minus 1 by 3 that is you get a one third penalty or a 30% penalty almost a 33% penalty if you get a wrong answer if you don't attempt it you are not marked either positive or negative that's a zero <clears throat> so it's an 80 mark exam and depending upon the total cumulative you will be given a score this is the stage 1 the stage 2 of the iniss i shall be discussing it henceforth also the stage 2 is basically an interview round which is only applicable to the aims stage 1 actually helps you get recruited to all the other central institute exams except for the aims but there is a speculation there is a thought going about that maybe pgi will be conducting interviews as well so that is still a speculation the prospectus is not yet out so i will not ponder much upon that this is the basic structure of both the exams which have to be taken upon to get into a nephrology super specialty see i am starting from the very basic because there they may be first year md students first year dnb medicine residents who absolutely have no idea about the ss exam so i want to start right from the basic and tell them how to go about it now coming to each exam separately coming to the neat ss to get into a neat ss to get into a dm or a drnb degree through a neat ss exam the eligibility criteria is either you got to be an md or a dnb in general medicine or an md or a dnb in pediatrics so to say both medicine and pediatrics residents or pass outs are applicable are absolutely eligible to get into nephrology so that is why it is not at all uncommon to see pediatricians getting into adult super specialty subjects in fact very many of my juniors and uh, juniors have been pediatricians first but maybe later on they decided to switch over to an adult super specialty subject coming to the neat ss now this again this information has been taken from the last year's prospectus obviously now again it ha it ha it, it, it will be conducted by the national board of examinations the nbe <clears throat> the most unpredictable of all the institutes that are not covered in the neat ss are of course the aims delhi the pgi chandigarh the jipmer the nimhans the shri chitra and also the peripheral aims the type of questions will be mcqs you have 150 questions and the duration of the exam all, already told you is 2 and a half hours coming to the iniss i have already briefed you about it so there are 90 minutes there are 80 questions to mark in 90 minutes for every positive answer you get a plus 1 for every wrong answer you get a minus 1/3 if you leave anything unanswered that will be zero the qualification criteria for stage 1 is your 50% so you have to score a 50% at least to qualify through the exam this is a mandate now what are the institutes that you can get into through an iniss exam i told you apart from these all are enrolled with the neat ss so what are those that are in the iniss you have the aims new delhi and all the peripheral aims so to say the bhubaneswar aims bhopal jodhpur patna raipur and rishikesh now these aims have really opened a good avenue because very many of the departments though recently are doing quite well then you have the jipmer puducherry you have the nimhans bangalore and of course the pgi chandigarh and not to forget down south the very very apex institute that is the shri chitra tirunal institute for medical sciences and technology which is in the tiruvananthapuram kerala so these are the institutes that you can get into via the iniss exam now what is the qualification 
or eligible criteria to get into the exam to get into an aims or a jipmer you need an md or dnb in medicine or pediatrics mind you but for pgi for pgi you need to have an md in medicine only this is what is written in the prospectus so pgi actually to pursue a dm nephrology in pgi chandigarh you if you are a, if you are a resident in pediatrics that actually may not suffice because that has not been mentioned in the prospectus <clears throat> now after you have cleared a inis exam there are two merit lists that are that are that there are compiled one is a common merit list where it's so two list of qualified candidates in order of merit will be declared on the basis of stage 1 and stage 2 i have already told you stage 2 is a interview now before covid it would be it was it was conducted in person it was an offline interview but since covid and henceforth it has become a very very suitable and conducive for all both the examiners and the examinee this has become an online interview so you can take it absolutely right from the comfort of your home now what are the merit lists that i was talking about one is the common merit list where all candidates must have appeared for the stage 1 all qualified candidates in stage 1 as per the exam will be assigned a rank and will be put in order of the in in order of the overall rank this merit list will be used to allocate seats in all the inis ss institutes except for aims as i have already told you so the moment you give your theory exam your mcq exam you get a rank in the cml you are absolutely eligible for all the inis said that is the pgi the jipmer the shri chitra but the aims because aims will conduct a interview round as well the stage 2 as well which is usually conducted by the aims new delhi now they will then compile on the basis of both stage 1 and stage 2 and aims merit list that is specifically applicable to the aims and then on you will be eligible for both the i mean for, through the cml for all the institutes through the aml only for aims <clears throat> am i clear is the cml and the aml absolutely clear to you please do not get confused this is not the acute myeloid leukemia or the chronic myeloid leukemia this is the aims merit list and the common merit list okay good now as per the january 2023 session these are the general and the sponsored seats so in the january 2023 session only two seats were the general seats five were the sponsored seats and respectively in the aims bhubaneswar you had two jodhpur you had two rishikesh one bhopal one raipur one jipma two and pgi two so in total you had 13 seats of dm nephrology in the central institutes and six sponsored seats two in the new delhi aims and one in the jipmer okay so and of course these will not be the same in the november aims exam that in the november iniss exam because you know it's a biannual exam and so that is why the the structure of the seat allocation is also a bit different so this is a brief about the format of the iniss and of the neat ss and everything about the exam you need to know before at least you can aim for it now the most vital and the million dollar question sir what to study where to study and how to study the study materials first and foremost let us not forget the geeta the bible and the quran the harrison's 21st edition the harrison's book of internal medicine is the gold standard is the base is the cement on which we will lay the foundation of the tall building absolutely please please and please do not be under the misconception that sir for neat pg entrance we maybe harrison was important no any entrance exam in india 
will not be out of the purview of Harrison's. This is the beauty of this book. So this is the brief about the nephrology and the allied subject, allied portions, which are given in the Harrison, the part one Harrison, you have the alteration in the renal function, renal and urinary tract function, where you have the, you have basically the five chapters come uh, pertaining to dysuria, azotemia, fluid electrolytes, hypercalcemia, hypocalcemia, and acidosis, alkalosis. And of course, you have the dis different disorders of the kidney and urinary tract, starting from the molecular biology, AKI, CKD, dialysis, transplant, the glomerular diseases, tubular interstitial, polycystic disease, vascular injury, nephrolithiasis, and urinary tract obstruction. Each and every line given here is golden dust. Please, please, please do not undermine the importance of this book. This has to be read. This, without this, please do not consider anything else to be done. Now, what beyond is this? This is what we are frequently chat boxes get flooded by. Is it enough? The big answer to the question is no. Absolutely no. It was more than enough for the neat PG entrance. It was quite enough for the, for the PG exit level exam, but this is not enough for your super specialty entrance exam. This is why we come into play. This is why doc tutorials come into play. Or for that matter, any super specialty coaching institute or guidance institute comes into play. So, sir, what then? Yes, these two are the reference textbooks of nephrology. You have the Comprehensive Clinical Nephrology by John Fihali and you have the Brenner and Rector's The Kidney. So these two, if you read, you are good to go. But sir, if we complete these two books now only, what will we be studying in our DM courses? You are absolutely correct. And let me tell you, even a final year DM resident of nephrology, or for that matter, anyone who's passed nephrology also, cannot confidently say that he has covered from page to page of Fihali or of Brenner's. These are vast books and these, these, are, these require a lot of revisions because the information given is very volatile. So is it possible to complete these two books in your medicine residency or even for the preparation year so that you can, you know, conquer the exam? It's very difficult. But sir, is this enough? No, sir. Because these books, the editions come in once in four or five years, but the guidelines keep changing every year. So the glomerular diseases management, which was given in the Fihalis has become totally outdated. So what then, sir, you have to be updated. You have to read the KDGO guidelines, the National Kidney Foundation guidelines, the Kedoki guidelines, because this is where the examiner will ask you questions from. Not only that, nephrology, a big chunk is a renal replacement therapy. You have the handbook of kidney transplantation by the Danovich and you have the handbook of dialysis by Dogridas. These are again very important because around 15-20% of your paper will be pertaining to dialysis and transplant. So, I can totally get you that it is not possible to read these four textbooks and all these guidelines and start preparing and retain everything. Absolutely not. Please do that during your DM residency. Not now. So, sir, what do we do? The answer is, Main hoon By may, I mean, we are there for you. And by we, I mean, the entire team at doc tutorials. So we have come here to basically ease your life, to simplify your preparation process and super concise it into a few hours of consolidation and a few lesser hours of revision. Sir, how do we do that? So let us know the success mantra. This, see, there is nothing here, especially here, which you already don't know. But, you know, the simpler things in life, one tends to forget. One knows, but one doesn't pay heed in following them, in implementing them. So I am just, I am here as an elder brother, 
as a senior to guide you and to impress upon your mind the importance of smaller things in life see you know don't aim for the bigger changes the bigger changes are actually an amalgamation of smaller changes okay so never think that unless i do 100 questions per day i will be able to be successful no you got to start with 10 questions a day and when that will translate into 100 you won't even come to know so it's a gradual journey it's a process so you have to start early please don't procrastinate do not think that from tomorrow onwards i will start no today itself sit down do at least a question if not more third and the most important there has to be a structure to your preparation say so today maybe you are a final medicine or a pediatrics resident you know that a few months down the line both of the exams are awaiting you you haven't started any prep so i am catering to those audiences the most if you are in the first year or second year then you are well in advanced so this will help you of, of course but this will be a really life saver video for those who are just a few months away from your ultimate entrance exam of your life hopefully a structured approach you have got to make a plan if you don't make a plan you will not reach your goal you will reach somewhere else which you have not planned for so please plan your studies make a plan in what month you will complete what which chapter what test what gt make a plan invest a day or two don't say i'll waste a day or two no this will be an investment for long term gain then you have got to do a targeted study see for any entrance exam i always tell my students not only is knowing important but also knowing what not to know is very important you cannot just keep studying everything under the sun see medicine is a vastless subject never ever have i come across a sane person who tells me that i know the entire of medicine i have never if you have come across please send him to me so you have got to do a targeted study for that you need to make a plan as i told you you've got to start early you've got to make a structure and then of course sky is the limit take exams regularly see you all have been into your medicine residency or your pediatrics residency and you are used to you know studying the textbooks or up to date or the text or the or the any reference book in your ward whenever you see a patient and whatever but see reading theory is one thing but solving an mcq is another trust me when you solve an mcq your theory knowledge actually gets consolidated because mcq solving or for that matter any exam solving actually requires commitment because when you are given a question and four options say a b c and d and say if you mark c it means what you have committed to it so your frontal lobe for that matter your brain will know that you committed to an answer and then maybe you were right or wrong so if it was right it will give you a sense of happiness if you were wrong that will pinch you and then you will remember it for the rest of your life ideally you should so that information gets consolidated into your brain forever this is the importance of exams and please study only that much which you can revise if you have not been able to revise your concepts your notes or your study material at least twice before the exam let me tell you it will be very difficult to produce it in the exam because at the exam in during the exam most of the things should come from the spinal reflex make it so spinal that in 40 50% of the answers you can answer it just through your spinal reflex you don't even have to uh, let the reflex pass through the cortex please i'm just trying to don't take it literally i'm just trying to make it make you absolutely understand the importance of revision so where do we come into play so we at doc tutorials have curated different courses for all of you if you are a specific neat ss person 
if you do not want to target the INISs, or maybe you are not even clear which subject to focus on, or which subject you want to do your super specialty in, you are like, sir, I will be giving, uh, I will be taking a NEET SS exam, and depending upon my rank, I will be seen because you know, sir, the NEET SS exam is an exam based on the entire medicine now. It does not focus into super specialty subjects separately. You are absolutely correct. So then what do you do? Number one, we have a detailed videos, which are the main videos for each subject as well as for the general medicine, which are recorded by Dr. Rahul Rajiv and supplemented by each of the super specialty teachers in order of importance. So for that matter, you know, most of the things will be covered by Dr. Rahul Raji. Then for, for example, in nephrology, electrolytes, ABG, a few glomerular diseases, transplant, those will be dealt with, dealt by me. Saying cardiology, important things like maybe a approach to uh, acute coronary syndrome, treatment of myocardial infarction, certain pericardial diseases will be taught by Dr. Kamal Sharma. Sir. So these videos are actually, trust, trust me, very many students have told us that these videos are very, very rich sources of the consolidated information of both Harrison and the super specialty textbooks in a few hours, which of course is, you know, done with a lot of experience. But sir, very many students say, tell us, sir, that we are busy residents. We are absolutely busy. We don't get so much of time for them. You have the QRP videos, the quick revision program videos. Trust me, this videos module, which when created by the faculties earned the maximum popularity. These are actually nothing, but these are small capsules where, you know, in four or five hours, each of the subjects, teachers have given their best information in a capsule of four or five hours. So this is nothing but gold dust. Please, the, if you ask me, this is one of the most important source and the most important thing available on the Docti app. Do not forget to go through it. You have to go through it. There are some test and discussion videos. The previous year questions, question series that we had conducted. So there are certain videos, if you go into the app, where the detailed question answers and discussion is there from each respective faculty. Go through them because you will get to know the approach to solving a question and retrospectively you can learn a lot. Now the previous year questions, again, again, these are a must. A lot of these are available as free videos on YouTube. You can watch my videos as well. The, you know, the recall NEET SS 2022, the recall INI SS 2022, 2021, 2020, all are there, are there on YouTube. Also on the app, these are very, very essential. But let me give you a word of caution. NBE is very unpredictable. Do not think that, sir, if it was a clinical based exam last year, this cannot be a factual based exam. In fact, the recent, the last year paper actually turned tables. It shocked very many of the, of the people who were preparing because they had thought of a certain type of a paper. They had expected a certain type of a paper based on the previous year's exam, but actually it turned head up, head down. Because it absolutely, you know, a, a, a paper was more of clinical based question, more of clinical vignettes. Then the next paper became more of facts. And those people who had not prepared enough, the facts who did not go through each and every line of Harrison, they actually suffered. Next is the Q bank. Again, if you go through any of the testimonial videos of the toppers of doc tutorials in nephrology, neurology, there are hundreds of videos on YouTube because most of the toppers were our students, you will get to know the importance of the Q bank at Dr. Tutorials. In the Q bank, there are fantabulous questions. Those are not old redundant questions, new questions taken from the reference textbook given with a explanation and a proper reference. 
so that you can actually go back to the reference textbook and read it. Now, the beauty of the question bank is the question bank is divided into two broad modules. One is a question bank of general medicine in the medical group. If you go there in the Q bank, you will get two types of Q bank. One is a Q bank of general medicine, which has again two parts. One is the fundamentals part, which is totally based on Harrison. So if you people think supposedly that, sir, I have less of time. I don't have the time to enter into super specialty books. I just want to revise my Harrison, consolidate my Harrison, and I'm okay with whatever rank I get. My advice to you would be go through the fundamentals part of the general medicine Q bank. If sir, I want to study both the Harrison based MCQ and certain super specialty based M MCQ, but sir, I don't have the time to go through the respective book or even the video. I'm not a video subscriber. Then you have the general medicine super specialty module, which are based on the super specialty textbooks. So, you know, you know, very many students, what they have done, the toppers, you will get to know in the testimonial videos, they have retrospectively studied the subject, say nephrology, neurology, by solving this Q bank and making notes. So actually, this is quite a smart strategy because from the Q bank, you get to know which are the regions which are most favorite, which are the concentrated regions of the examiners. So this is again a very, very interesting proposition. The next, sir, I am sure that I want to become a nephrologist. I'm pretty sure I want to marry this subject for the end of my, for, for, for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I want to pursue it in a super institute, in a central institute. I want to end my professional journey on a high, then this is what is made for you. The DM nephrology Q bank, where you have questions from the guidelines, from the super specialty textbooks. If you are aiming INISS, then this is your, this is what you need to go through thoroughly. See, I have time and again told you question solving will only fetch you a rank. So if you gave me two options, sir. On one hand, I have the option of revising Harrison thrice. And on the other, I have the option of revising Harrison once and solving a Q bank. I would say revise it once or even not even that lesser, but solve the Q bank because question solving will help you grasp the topic. will help you actually crack the exam. Next, the grand tests. See, we have a lot of grand tests. And act, these are the quote unquote words of the students. These GTs actually simulate the, the actual exam. They are a replica of the exam. They have a correct mix of factual based exam, image based question and the clinical variant based question. So these have been curated, handpicked by the faculty. And, you know, each faculty has contributed a lot at question in each GT. And you know, these are very, very high. Level. Next is the allied test series, which we already have begun with. We have already conducted the neurology portions. And now we are heading on to the cardiology portion. Again, we have divided the entire subject, each of us into the four modules. And you know, so module one has a few chapters. Module two has few chapters. And similarly, that is done for each subject. You will get a detailed explanation with reference for each question. And trust me, I will not be surprised if 70, 80% questions come from this Allied Test Series. Because each faculty is a master of their own subject. And they have had experience seeing the last four, five years patterns. And they know actually what up to stress more upon and what to stress less. So if you haven't already subscribed, the Allied test series in nephrology will be conducted in the month of April. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do it right away. The last but not the least, 
this is going to be a new game changer this video will be uploaded in the app say in a matter of a week i have already recorded the video so each super specialty faculty has recorded a crisp video which contains nothing but the flow charts and tables from harrison's 21st edition so you know harrison's tables and flow charts have always been a gold mine for questions in fact you know when i used to be appearing for my exam i remember one senior telling me that don't read anything two days before the exam just read the tables and flow charts because almost the rich information of each chapter has been beautifully structured in a flow chart or a table so what we have done we have made a video for you we do don't even have to open the harrison textbook just go through the video and you have all the tables verbatim explained by us and supplemented by additional information from the super specialty book if there is any so for example if there is a table on minimal chain disease which i know could have been a bit better because there is a table in brenners which deals with the same i have added that table as well so you know you cannot miss this thing this is very very unique and promising feature which we are actually offering you in the app please go through it so these are the different resources a one stop solution that we have curated for all of you so you don't have to go through all the textbooks all the journals and the guidelines please do not so my actual advice to you would be you have to read harrison's you have to be very very thorough with it plus you have enough time subscribe to the subscribe to the videos on our app if you subscribe to the videos you will get all the information extra on top of this that you require and there are a few courses where you can get videos plus the elite test series plus the q bank that would actually be a match winner for all of you because this is the wholesome package which you can be offered and which you can get to crack the exam so as i was saying at at our at our place you have a great team we have rich updated crisp videos crisp is the game changer here i can you know record the entire brenners over 300 hours for you but that will not be of use to you i have made it a short crisp 40 45 hour course for you so that you have the entire nephrology at your disposable in that short duration you have flow charts and mind maps and now even a specific course for it it's an integrated approach i have added a lot of patients a lot of clinical vignettes which i have used to be seeing in my clinical practice there is a question bank which has already attained a lot of popularity you can hear it in any video testimonial and you have a leaderboard so if you appear for a gt if you appear for a test you get to know what is your rank if you are a topper it gives you a dopamine surge and actually tells you you have to maintain your position if you are not there then it gives you a boost it hurts your ego and that is what helps you i told you small victories will translate into a big big victory there are regular live sessions there are doubt solving sessions that i will that i will conduct with all of you in fact the mock interview which we all conduct just before the stage 2 of the uh, aims interview and that is one of the game changers we have had the maximum people cracking the interview in fact most of the people who appear for the interview are also our students so you know you can hear the interview testimonial as well then the whatsapp group and the social media because you know we believe in staying connected you can absolutely contact me at my whatsapp number which is this please feel free to connect with me on my whatsapp number i will add you on to a specific group also if you want to 
you can even if you are not a nephrology aspirant any other subject aspirant also please connect with me if you are watching this video then i will add you to the respective group and connect you to your aspirational faculty so there is a personal mentorship that we give and of course we are hashtag exam ke baad bhi because even post the exam how to go about the counseling helping you to connect with the seniors of respective colleges and hospitals we are all there now so i have told you each and everything about what is the exam what are the materials available and how to actually go about it in a smart way now what is the analysis of the last year exam i mean the last neat ss 2022 it had a good mix of factual and your clinical based questions but factual questions actually had an upper hand please understand that it it actually was a paper of general medicine so actually this actually comprised whole of general medicine so one could not say that it is a neurology bias paper or a nephrology bias paper no it had almost good spread over neurology nephrology cardiology endocrinology infectious disease hemato oncology everywhere critical care it actually pertained it actually catered to each and every subject and genetics also was asked in a good number of questions which often is neglected in a by a medicine resident now the questions type please understand and that will be true for i think most of the papers around 15% of the questions will be of the level of the post graduate entrance type so what you have studied from your uh, md entrance exam that knowledge will help you solve around 15% around 50 to 60% will be of the level of pg exit level but 20% will be are of about super specialty level now see there are two important take home messages from here number 1 that only study harrison and only studying the basic things will not help you solve the rest 20% you will miss that bus you will miss being on the top of the list because you are only studying around 75 to 80% you are missing the 20% which we are here to supplement you with the next take home message which is i think even more important is that sir if i only study this and if i neglect this then actually i am missing the larger thing i think this is a better crime to do than this sir if i only study super specialty book if i only study the tougher things the channelopathies the genes and i forget the basics the ec change in hyperkalemia i do not know what does gentamicin do to my kidney i do not know what is the treatment of minimal chain disease then i am actually calling for more trouble so please understand around 20 15 20% pg entrance 20 25% super specialty but 50 to 60% will be about pg exit level which almost all of you will have attained after you after you have given the md exit level exam or the pediatrics exit exam so this is the graph structure of the questions that will be asked in your neat ss if you are up aiming for the ini ss of course this will decrease a bit and this will increase a bit say around 30 35% will be this and 60 65% will be your pg level i hope i am absolutely clear to you so now you know now the the frequent question that you get on your messenger is sir is only harrison not sufficient beta i told you if you study only harrison you are actually only pertaining yourself to this only you are catering to this you will miss this sir is only fihali important if you only study fihali you miss the medicine you are gone so you know another take home message from here is if you are a fresher say you are completing your md or dmb in june july and you are opting for the exam in september october then 
you are actually giving yourself the best chance to clear the exam. Why, sir? Because you have just uh, taken your theory exam for your MD, and at that point you were booming with knowledge. You knew the Harrison verbatim, and that is the time. Just take the exam through the guidance of us, and you will clear the exam. Now, talking about INISs, I would like to give you a free few examples before I tell you more about it. See, in INISs Jan twenty two twenty three session, the question that were asked were: On one hand, they asked you, "Avacopan is a so you know it's a C five receptor antagonist." Burden classification is used in, you know, it is for the anca vasculitis. Simple one liner. If you know it, hundred percent marks. If you don't know it, you cannot concoct the answer. There is no scope to think over it. It's a factual question. It's one on one hand, it's a new drug. One hand, it is a classification. I always tell you for INSS, new drugs are very important. On the other hand, a CKD patient with urea one seventy, creatinine ten. Sodium one twenty eight, potassium seven. Started on SG for the first time. Prescription two hours, ultra filtered two hours. Blood flow four hundred with standard dialysis sodium. What can you do to prevent dialysis disequilibrium syndrome? The answer would be a decrease in the blood flow rate. So here it's a clinical vignette. You've been given a long stem question, some values, a clinical background, and you have to apply your knowledge of DDS. And mark the answer. Another question: A male smoker, type one DM since ten years, with well controlled blood pressure, urinary albumin of only eighty milligram. What is the next step? Now, these next step questions, and you are given four options. These are again favorite of your INISs. So you know they ask you the next step. They ask you the best step. They ask you investigation of choice questions are a bit redundant now. So this is how. they can test you both on the factual front and on the clinical front so ini is a beautiful paper but one thing i want to tell you please for all of you don't think it is out of your reach to every topper i have talked to who has topped the inisx exam please not just because they were toppers they said this actually it takes nothing a bit more than the neat ss preparation you have to just believe in yourself you don't have to think that it is beyond your reach if you do that you can jolly well clear this exam just have the tenacity to conquer it bus so this is about the paper i hope i have been able to you know clarify almost everything related to nephrology that you could have thought and now the test series that i was talking about the medical group li test series this is the nephrology schedule i have divided the entire subject into four modules module 1 on the 14th of april will be acid base electrolyte urinary abnormality then you have similarly module 2 3 and 4 module 4 is free for all please understand please do take these tests these are very vital each question will be set by myself and i assure you that a big percentage of the paper will be from this paper from these questions only so these are the different rankers both in the iniss and the neat ss there are uh, hundreds of testimonial videos in almost every subject we bagged more than 5 6 rankers in the top 10 in the recent session and we are very proud of that it, it is not there is nothing more heartwarming for a teacher than this you can watch those testimonials that will also give you a sense of inspiration and motivation so you can absolutely contact me at this number as i have told you this is my whatsapp number i may not take calls but you can jolly well whatsapp me i'll add you to the respective group and then we'll see what we can do from there is there any question in the chat box you would want to answer you would want me to answer i am more than happy to answer so i hope i have answered almost everything thank you it was a pleasure talking to you and uh, 
So see you around. Uh, happy learning. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye.